One of the most exciting parts of my job and why I became a dermatologist is that almost everything looks within the same, the same within a series of patterns. So that red itchy dog may have an allergy, may have a bacterial infection which is caused because of the allergy, it may have an autoimmune disease, it may have skin cancer. And so what can be especially frustrating for owners is they may be trying their own remedies or going to a veterinarian and they're doing the appropriate things for a bacterial infection but the complication is it's not an allergy or it was an allergy and now unfortunately it's become cancer. And so a lot of times an initial visit, I'm able to jump several hurdles by looking at everything and taking a step back and saying, well, unfortunately this is a 12 year old dog and allergy is down here and those changes are more likely to be skin cancer and get an answer right then and there. So what some people think is incredibly frustrating, stinks, is gross, you get dirty, I love. I am not all that thrilled by chasing blood glucose curves or numbers of values on blood work, but give me a stinky itchy dog any day and I'll get to the bottom of things.